Hi, it's Chava from Marshall and Light. Today we're going to cover adding photos individually, adding photos via the batch uploader, and deleting photos. The first thing that you're going to want to do is log into your site by adding the word programs after your domain name. This will bring you to your login page where you're going to fill in your username and your password and click login. Since today we're dealing with files, we are going to click the files icon. First, we're going to add files via the individual uploader. So we're just going to click Add File. We're going to go to Choose File, find the file that you would like to upload, click it, press Open, and click Upload File. There is also an area on the site that you can add tags um, to your images to make them searchable if your site has that feature. So if you'd like to, you can add a few tags separated by commas if you'd like it to be searchable by more than one term. There you go. You have uploaded one photo. Now to use the batch uploader, we're going to click Files again and click on Batch Uploader. The batch uploader will allow you to upload multiple images first thing that you're going to do is click Browse File, find the files that you'd like to upload, and select them all by pressing Shift and the arrow key. Or, if you'd like to select individual files, press Control and click. And click Open. You're going to see a nice fan display of your images to make sure that these are the images that you'd like to upload and once you're sure scroll down click upload now now that your uploads are complete we're going to cover deleting photos so click on the files icon and as you can see we've uploaded to the same image this image which is a uh, sepia version of some of one of these images and here's another sepia version exactly the same image so we click the one that we want to delete that's going to preview for us right here and we're going to click delete this file are we sure we want to delete this item yes we can return to the files main page and we can see that that file is now deleted